And I start reading the book. This is exactly what I needed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I've been praying for a good gift for our homeschool group in San Francisco. Uh, the book is perfect gift. So, and Kristen sent me for a Christmas gift. I said, Lord, thank you. This is perfect. Welcome to the Simplified Organization Podcast, 15-minute conversations with real moms about managing our homes and family life cheerfully to the glory of God. We can enjoy housework and love being homemakers when we focus on truth and work with gratitude. I'm Misty Winkler. I write and podcast at Simply Convivial, and I run Convivial Circle, a community helping women to excel at homemaking and do life cheerfully. Today, I'm joined by two Convivial Circle members, Kristen Shing and Joyce Wong. Hi. So Thank you. Yeah. Kristen, would you introduce yourself a little bit? Sure. Um, well, I am a homeschooling mom of nine. I, we have eight boys and one girl. And we live in Hawaii, where we minister to Chinese speakers and whoever the Lord brings along our path. Um, recently, I've been helping my husband start his Treasure Box Books podcast and working on our website, Refresh Publishing. And I write about Christian motherhood and Bible study at loveinthesmallthings.com. Um, and I have been learning from you, Misty, um, for many years. I think I first came across your blog, uh, I don't know, many years ago when we uh, still lived in China. And I was looking for information about getting things done from a Christian and homemaking perspective. And found your materials so helpful and so um, biblically grounded um, and just going through the materials in, in your courses and um, especially simplified organization have, have just helped to form and reform my thinking about what it means to be a mom and a homemaker. Mm. Thank you, Kristen. And Joyce, you want to introduce yourself? Yeah. Um, my name is Joyce. I'm from China. was born and grew up in China. And then I'm a homeschool mom of five. We just have a newborn this August 5th, 25th. And my, I married my husband in 2009 in China. Yeah. We moved to the United States to take care of my in-laws right now. So I'm kind of caregiver to them too. My father-in-law is 95. My mother-in-law is blind. So it's just a lot of things going on. In 2019, we visited our good friend, the Tings in Hawaii, and she introduced Simple Can Review to me. And during that time, I thought, oh, okay, I just subscribed for a few months. Maybe I learned something <laughs> just to keep going. And I realized this is a long time, lifelong learning. So I really appreciate all the stuff in your course, podcast even right now with book because I'm be looking for home making or homeschooling balance with ministry I mean to all my roles how can I balance this and I read a lot of time many books but I feel like I read more I get more frustrated because I cannot get things done <laughs> <laughs> until Kristen told me about your course I said the first thing Papa is organized our attitude. I said, oh, wow, that's the thing I need to work on first. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so totally different perspective. But I think this kind of answer the prayer because I'm, I've been looking for many, many, many years, but I cannot find anything home time management or homemaking management about the, as a homemaker and home a wife, mother, just all the roles for us. Mm -hmm. So I really appreciate everything you are doing. Yeah, I mean, I wrote... I started writing because I was trying, I was also reading all the time management and getting things done and stuff. And like, well, it, it kind of works, but it doesn't quite work because exactly. you know, like homemaking life is different and mom life is different. Mm -hmm. So that's great. And so we're have, I having both of you on today because you worked together and with a small group through the course material. And so I would just love to hear how you made it like a local group study or how you did that as friends together and what that looked like? 
Well, it's interesting because uh, it wasn't actually local. <laughs> I'm in Hawaii. <laughs> Joyce is in California, and our other friend that did it with us is in Florida. So it was very okay. much spread out, but <laughs> but still um, a small group of people who kind of well, they both knew me. So it was um, exciting to uh, allow them to get to know each other, but also just to go through the material together and be able to share. And I don't know, Joyce, do you want to tell about how we did that? Well, for me, I feel, I, I heard that though, something saying, if you want walk fast, you walk by yourself. If you want walk longer and then you find someone. So I always kind of type person, I need someone with me so I can keep going or just kind of mm -hmm. someone help me. But I'm kind of shy too, so I never English is my second language, so I never share anything on Canadian <laughs> circle. But I do pay attention about something post there. So when Kristen told me, so oh, how about we have a small group? I said, yeah, perfect, I'm doing it. So we did that, and it's big. It's really encouragement. It's especially when I got when I got the graduation, the small reward. I said, wow, I finished it. <laughs> I know it does not mean I really did apply everything in my life, but I feel like at least in my mind, I know what's going on. I probably hear a little, there are little baby steps like you said all the time. That's right. None of us are ever finished. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So did you communicate via text or like, how did you keep up with one another as you worked through it? It was a mix of different things. Um, some text messaging, mostly just to coordinate when we were going to meet. Um, we tried to meet every week, I think, um, or at least every other week. Um, is that right? I think during that time, it's been a couple years. Coach, is that called coach? And then it's half a year, right? It was January <laughs> through July of, or January through June of 2021. We started out um, meeting by FaceTime and we did that part of the time and then some of the time we used another app called Marco Polo which allowed us to just record and then listen um, later but basically what we would do is just go through the material ourselves during the week and then record um, or talk about if we were in a live call together what we had learned um, narrating kind of yes. like Charlotte Mason, um, retelling what we had learned and reading quotes to each other that stood out to us. And often we would mention the same quotes of, wow, that was so good. That's so true. And um, and then talking about how we were going to apply it or sharing our homework that we had done. Yes. So that was a good way to build our friendship and also to encourage each other and pray for each other, know better how to pray for each other. But um, also to, I think it helped the content that we were learning to sink in more because we were sharing it with someone else and processing it in that way. It is so true that we learn better when we put something in our own words. And that's not just, mm -hmm. uh, you know, Charlotte Mason homeschool thing for our kids. Right, it's right. true for learning. And then ha having those opportunities to talk about the nitty gritty real life things with other friends is mm -hmm. also so helpful because they have a better understanding of, you know, your life context and what's going on and then how to pray for you. And it's, um, it's so easy to just have friendships or whatever that are superficial mm -hmm. or then to think that, oh, it has to be super deep to be a right. you know, good friend, but it really is just doing those real life things side by right. side. That is, and I think, so the, mm -hmm. I think the course provided a context to be able to have those deeper discussions without it feeling unnatural or forced, but to help refine each other. <laughs> And also, I appreciate about it's not only from that course. I think after that course, we keep doing something, but there's so much good things there. We don't know what we should choose first. So then as you worked through simplified organization, what would you say 
was like the the biggest like helpful activity or piece of the puzzle that's like, oh, that's the thing that like really helped in my life. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking back at my graduation survey. <laughs> um, and what I had said was that had stuck the most was doing brain dumps. Um, and I think that's because that's become my go-to habit whenever I'm tempted to feel overwhelmed, um, which I'm learning is a temptation as well as an opportunity to grow in faith. Um, It's so helpful to write things out by hand and try to see the big picture so I can take it to the Lord in prayer and decide what's most important to work on first. So it's just a small thing, but that's one of the things that has been most helpful over the years. Also in decluttering, uh, I wrote down that I, I learned that most of the time it actually does work best just to work in short chunks of time when I'm decluttering, as long as I put things away as I go um, and start with the areas that have already been decluttered, try to maintain them and not do what my personality wants to do and just pull everything out and go crazy and um and make a bigger mess than I started with because I'm I'm wanting everything to be perfect right now how about you Joyce Mm, I think every stage of my life there's something pop up I just want to share something about recently because I have a newborn around August 25th and he was in NICU for 12 days which is number five it's really new for me and then after NICU time, he was has been out and he needed eye surgery. So this kind of really so big for me. And then I never handled this before. And then during this time, and because I listened to some of your podcasts mentioned about how can you recover yourself? Because right now, when I get in the house, my house is a mess. The, we have no homeschooling, no schedule. And then I need to feed my in-laws, my children. I mean, it's just so much thing going on. I even don't know where should I start first. That's kind of really caught you. That I remember one that when we learned, I, I, I don't remember which course that you quote from Elizabeth Elite. And then I think after she went back to the jungle and then she held the baby and her husband passed away. So that thing just popped to me say, I just need to do the next right thing. And then where is my next right thing come from? Is from my morning and evening routine because I need to keep. Oh, I think another podcast you mentioned when you have the situation like this, what you 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 choose to do because impossible. I can start with homeschool. Impossible. I, I do some things, but what's most important? Meals and the laundry and the evening review. I just something thankful and my devotion. So I think you mentioned four things. I think that's really really helped me during this kind of hard situation for me this year. But I feel like wow, I even can get back. Before, without this, I even don't know how long, to be years, maybe half a year, just try to think of things out. Where should I start first? But I think morning and evening routine, I try to do the baby steps and build up the routine. And I also appreciate what you mentioned about time budget, because I kind of many years I use a schedule, but the real life never happened like your schedule. Yes. And so... When you don't have, you when you look at schedule and you look at things, it's just not match. And now what can you do? So when you mention a time budget, so I started to track myself. What did I do? So what did I do today? What did I do last night? I mean, how long? Oh, I realized, oh, changing diaper about five minutes. I mean, I mean, just talk with children in hours. I mean, just all the time you use that. It's not wasting. But when you don't track, you don't know what happened to your life. <laughs> it's just like right now, I'm also doing a ready five. If you review is the best start so I feel like oh this is really helpful so I would say baby step when you mentioned that it's really good it's really helped me a lot during this situation and also I keep faithful in the small things like morning and evening routine so yeah and I changed my mind about professionalism and also (laughs) you mentioned it's faithful it's really not getting things done like the way that you want right well, yes. and that's especially important in those survival mode yes. seasons. And it's so tempting in the survival mode seasons to 
procrastinate and put things on say, well, it's my life isn't the way that I want it to be. So I'm not going to set anything up or I'm not going to get anywhere until like everything's all smooth again. But yes. little things make a big difference. Yeah, exactly. So the baby step time budget, I would say is really helpful because I remember you mentioned your time, your budget, your time, like your budget, your money, and that you have very little money, you can only buy the little things, but the time is same thing. So I think myself, I only have this much time, I need to nurse the baby. I mean, just all the need, you have to pick and choose what's the next step you can do according to your time budget. <laughs> right. <laughs> and acknowledging those things like changing the diapers, nursing the baby, feeding people, they take time. And it's what your time is actually for right now. They exactly. Count. Yeah, because you schedule, you don't schedule those things, but that things will go happen in your life. <laughs> yeah, so thank you for doing this time budget. I mean, just really, really realistic about the real life. So if there were others out there who are like, oh, I would like to do something like simplified organization, you know, some kind of um, getting... Uh, a handle on my responsibilities with a friend, mm -hmm. what recommendations would you have or how would you advise someone to move forward with that? I would say if at all possible, find an accountability partner um, that you can go through, um, join Simply Convivial Community Coaching uh, or I'm sorry, is it some sim simplified it. organization? Which one do you well, convivial is circle is everything and right. coaching is just the simplified organization. Bit. Okay. Yeah. Right. So I would say do uh, simplified organization, community coaching, um, find an accountability partner, someone that you know locally, if you can, um, that is willing to do it with you. I think that's very helpful. Convivial circle, um, the, the group. Uh, online for simplified organization is very helpful and just a wonderful there's a spirit there that I I really appreciate and it's different from any Facebook group that I've ever been a part of but I think in addition to that it is also helpful to have someone that you know in real life that knows you and that will hold you accountable and say I'm calling you this Saturday. Have you done your homework? <laughs> um, so yeah, that was really good for us. And it was the first time I had tried several times before that I had already been a member for years and I had tried several times before and started going through the program, but never was able to actually finish it until we did it together. So that was a huge blessing. And also, I would just say, don't get discouraged if you get off track or if an emergency happens or you don't finish every little thing. Um, just keep an iteration mindset, as you like to talk about, and try to make things a little bit better each interval or each time you go through the course to do a little bit more. We didn't finish all of the homework, I don't think, but we did go through all of the lessons and do at least something I think from each each lesson so it was still very helpful and I appreciate that you you encourage us to appreciate that progress and not feel like I failed because we didn't do everything mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yes yeah the small wins is a, such a big help because sometimes you all I, for me i always want to look at big picture oh i did not find the whole thing but just small wins just increase myself keep doing it well thank you so much christina yeah. joyce it's been so great to chat with you today and uh thank you for sharing about how you did um community coaching together yeah thank you for having us thank you so much for the opportunity it's great to talk with you. I'd love to have you join us for a home management boot camp in 2024 with Simplified Organization Community Coaching. During this program, we'll walk through all areas of home management so we can organize our attitude, streamline our homemaking, and work our plan all to the glory of God. 
We don't do it so that our homes are immaculate, but so that we are faithful in the responsibilities that God has given us. Simplified Organization Community Coaching is included in the Convivial Circle membership. Just go to simplyconvivial.com and click the green enroll button at the top to get started. You can also find a link in the description of this episode. Join Simplified Organization Community Coaching, maybe with a friend like Kristen and Joyce, and let me help you organize your attitude and make personalized plans so that you are no longer overwhelmed or frustrated by life. During this program, all through 2024, we are going to repent, rejoice, repeat.